This segment will explain how to use the evacuation hover jack to evacuate patients in an emergency. The evacuation hover jack provides a way to transport the patient to safety in a supine position without a bed mattress, making it ideal for the operating room or for patients on air mattresses. We will demonstrate how to inflate the evacuation hover jack, transfer the patient onto the evacuation hover jack with a hover mat air transfer system, transport the patient on the evacuation hover jack, move the evacuation hover jack downstairs. This segment will show the use of the hover mat air transfer system. Please review the video titled Using the Hover Mat Air Transfer System and HoverTech Air Supply for detailed instructions before using the Hover Mat Air Transfer System. The segment will also reference points covered in the Using the Hover Jack Air Patient Lift video. It is important that you view that video segment before using the evacuation hover jack. A minimum of three caregivers is needed to use the evacuation hover jack. Place the evacuation hover jack on the floor next to the patient's bed or stretcher, making sure the chamber with valve number four is on the top and the chamber with valve number one is against the floor. The end with the zippered foot pouch should be positioned at the foot end of the bed or stretcher. Be sure that the red capped valves are fully closed. The inflation valves should not be capped. Plug in the air supply. Begin inflating the evacuation hover jack by placing the hose end over the valves, starting with the chamber against the floor, labeled valve one. Press the far right button on the air supply, labeled hover jack, to initiate airflow and begin inflation. Remember to use the look, listen, and feel technique explained in the hover jack video to make sure that the chamber is fully inflated. Remember, you do not have to cap the one-way valve when the chamber is full. When the first chamber is fully inflated, move on to the valve in the second chamber, labeled valve two. Continue with the same process for valves three and four, ensuring that each chamber is fully inflated before moving on to the next. It is important that each chamber is inflated in sequence for safety, starting with the chamber closest to the floor. Once all chambers are fully inflated, press the standby button on the air supply to turn off the airflow. Position the evacuation hover jack as close as possible to the adjacent surface and make sure the foot pouch is unzipped and the safety straps are out of the way. At least one caregiver should be next to the patient, while another is positioned against the evacuation hover jack on the receiving side. Inform the patient of the task and laterally transfer the patient from the bed or stretcher onto the evacuation hover jack. If using a hover mat to transfer, insert the air supply hose into the hover mat transfer mattress. Press the appropriate button on the air supply to initiate airflow and inflate the hover mat. The caregivers on the patient side will initiate the transfer by pushing the hover mat onto the evacuation hover jack at an angle, while the caregiver on the opposite side grasps the handle and pulls the hover mat and patient onto the evacuation hover jack. Ensure that the patient's body is centered. Turn off the air supply by pressing the standby button and remove the hose from the hover mat. Zip the foot pouch over the patient's feet and lower legs. Buckle the evacuation hover jack safety straps over the patient and adjust until taut. Do not place the strap across the patient's neck. Bring the air supply to the back of the evacuation hover jack to inflate the head pillow using the same inflation technique demonstrated with chambers one through four. Place the oxygen tank into the holder within the zippered foot pouch if needed. Using the foot end pull strap and the handles located around the perimeter of the device, move the patient on the inflated evacuation hover jack to the nearest stairwell and position the device so the patient can be taken down the stairs feet first. 
Before descending the stairs, the top two chambers closest to the patient, chambers three and four, must be fully deflated, leaving chambers one and two and the head pillow fully inflated. Inform the patient that the top two chambers will be deflated and explain what they will hear and feel. Then, release the air by opening the uppermost red deflate valve on chamber number four. When chamber number four is fully deflated, repeat the process for chamber number three. Do not release both chambers at once. When both chambers are fully deflated, move into the stairwell. The caregivers will then work in unison to facilitate the stairwell descent. While the caregiver at the head end holds the head end pull strap and handles, the foot end caregivers will begin to pull the patient down the stairs using the foot end pull straps. The Teflon coated bottom will allow the evacuation hover jack to easily slide down each flight. The foot end caregivers should use their hips and upper thighs to help control the speed of the descent. During the evacuation, ensure that the patient remains centered on the evacuation hover jack and that the patient's head does not slump forward and restrict breathing. Be aware of any sharp edges, corners, or stair railing components and move the evacuation hover jack carefully around them. The bottom air chamber is reinforced, but if a chamber should puncture during the evacuation, stabilize the patient and deflate the punctured chamber immediately by opening the red capped valve of that chamber. Proceed with the evacuation. Once you have reached ground level, move the patient to safety. You may then cap the one-way valves if the patient will remain on the evacuation hover jack for an extended period of time. In this section, we explained how to use the evacuation hover jack to transport a patient to safety in the event of an emergency. Here are the key points from this section. A minimum of three caregivers must be present to use the evacuation hover jack. Inflate all four chambers of the evacuation hover jack using the look, listen, and feel technique to ensure the device is stable before laterally transferring the patient onto it. If available, use a hover mat air transfer system to transfer onto the evacuation hover jack. Use the perimeter handles and head and foot end pull straps to transport the patient. Never use the safety straps to pull the evacuation hover jack. The evacuation hover jack has a Teflon coated bottom that will easily slide across any surface. Caregivers should work in unison to control the descent of the evacuation hover jack down the stairs. During the video, we referenced the correct procedure for inflating the hover jack, explained in the Using the Hover Jack Air Patient Lift video. The HT Air 1200 Air Supply Buttons and Functions, explained in the Using the Hover Mat Air Transfer System and Hover Tech Air Supply video. The correct procedure for inflating the hover mat transfer mattress, explained in the Using the Hover Mat Air Transfer System and Hover Tech Air Supply video. A hover mat transfer using the stay close approach explained in the using the hover mat air transfer system and hover tech air supply video.